Breaking news again on the Sri Lanka story. Two more blasts have been reported from Sri Lanka. The seventh blast has been reported in Colombo. Reports for blast at a hotel opposite the Dahiwala Zoo in Colombo is what we hear is the latest development. The eighth blast was reported from Demitagoda. Remember, over 160 people are dead and more than 450 people were injured after explosions rocked the cities of Sri Lanka. I have my colleague Pramod joining me live right now. Pramod, more tragedy in Sri Lanka. Two more blasts reported in the last half hour. What update do you have? Well, it's extremely tragic and as you exactly mentioned, this is the eighth blast that has been reported from Sri Lanka alone, of which uh, uh, three were churches, three were hotels, very prominent hotels in Colombo, uh, Kingsbury, uh, Cinnamon Grand and uh, Shangri-La. And the investigation apparently, as per sources, Shangri-La Hotel, they have discovered that uh, the blast had occurred at the cafeteria and close to 25 kilos of C4 uh, were explosive was used and apparently uh, they are zeroing into a suspect. Uh, they believe that who had uh, came to the hotel hotel on the, the 20th, that is yesterday, and not just that, initial reports also claim that all the six uh, uh, attacks in the morning seems to be like uh, uh, by suicide bombers, but all these things will be uh, still under investigation. But this is a seventh and eighth also, that's really shocking, and uh, the government has requested the people to stay indoors uh, for some time as they want to uh, conduct a proper sweep across all the public areas to avoid any more life loss. All right, Pramod, eighth blast as you reported. Now, what steps are being taken by the authorities on ground? Do you have information on that? Well, the thing is that, like, authorities, the first and foremost thing they're requesting is that the people not to panic and not to fall for fake news. And the second thing is that they are requesting the people to stay away uh, from public spots for a certain amount of period uh, so that they can do a proper conduct, proper sweep, and find out if there is, like, any uh, residual bombs placed in anywhere for secondary blast. They never thought that the 7th and 8th blast would occur, but here you have it. One is in Devahala and the other one is in uh, Demetagoda. So that's the reason they do not want any more life loss. And from Devahala itself, uh, it's being reported that two people have died so far. It's near a zoo. So very categorically, uh, the, the strike is only seem to be on locations, public locations, to uh, make sure that there is a larger life loss. That's the kind of like first request the government has placed. And the secondary thing, schools have been declared holiday for the next two days. And uh, in Colombo, it could be extended to other places also. Uh, and emergency meetings have been convened where the president and the prime minister will participate and conduct about uh, the security measures soon. Pramod, you happen to mention that these blasts took place at three churches and three luxury hotels. Could you give us a roundup of that, the details that you have about these individual blasts, the first six ones and the, later, the, the latest two blasts? Could you just break them down and explain those to our viewers? Uh, certainly. For now, the reports that we get from our sources from Sri Lanka claims that there is a possibility for them to have used suicide bombers and we are not trying to uh, claim anything for them because uh, the authorities themselves want to make sure if it was staged or uh, to look like that or, or it was an effective actual attack. But the three, uh, three attacks that occurred in the church early morning were targeted on Christians who had come for a church mass in mass number because today is Easter Sunday and special mass that is around 7 a.m. The church at St. Anthony Shrine in Colombo, in Batticola, another church and the other one is near Combo, of which Colombo and uh, near Combo seem to have uh, attained a larger life loss. Then the next three were in uh, hotels at Colombo, very prominent hotels, Shangri-La, uh, Cinema Grand, and the third one is uh, Kingsbury. There also attack has occurred, and from which, for, of that, the first thing they have uh, uh, cracked for now, that's uh, the case, is from Shangri-La. They have identified through CCTV camera that the blast had occurred in the cafeteria and the possible possibility of 25 kilos of C4 to being used uh, for the blast to conduct, I mean, uh, for such a, a big blast. They've also found out that one passenger is, I mean, one, uh, one of the person had come to the hotel on 20th. All these are initial reports, but they are investigation, investigating in this angle only. They, uh, they were not aware of, I mean, though they predicted a secondary or residual bomb blast, they were not aware that it occurred near a zoo and a metagoda. That's also being uh, investigated because it just occurred almost 15 minutes back. All right, Pramod, thank you for getting us those updates. On Mirror Now, we'll be closely tracking the story. Very deplorable tragedy. And as the government of Sri Lanka has advised, not to panic, stay indoors, and schools have been closed. Authorities are taking measures to control the, the repercussions of this 
tragedy in Sri Lanka. Thank you, Pramod, for getting us those updates.